Okay, let us discuss the next question. So this is a conversion to phenyl ethanol by addition of formaldehyde and suitable given out reagent. So you have to use formaldehyde HCHO plus some Grignard reagent. Grignard reagent. Using these two, you have to prepare finally a two phenyl ethanol. So you have ethanol. So you have to prepare this compound. So here you have pH. So this is CH2 and here you also have CH2. So you have to prepare this compound. So using Grignard reagent plus formaldehyde, you have to prepare this compound. So you see what Grignard reagent you will use. Give me the answer. Yeah. So you see this part is coming. So this part is coming from formaldehyde. So this is coming from formaldehyde. And this part is coming from Grignard reagent. So this is coming from formaldehyde HCHO. This part is coming from Grignard reagent. So I should to take pH CH2 MZBR. So this means if I treat pH CH2 MZBR, this minus plus you have with HCHO, I will get the desired product. I am getting if I treat with this. Now this minus will attack here, this will go away and I have to do hydrolysis also, H3O plus, I will get the desired product. Are you getting or not? So this product I will get. So basically there is no need to write again, but let me write pH CH2, CH2OH. So this product we will get because this minus will attack here, this go up, take H plus from water. Or simply you can use water also, H3O plus is not required. Even if you add water, that's enough. Now let us say B part. So this is A. Uh, what is B? I think you have copied this one. Please keep copying fast. These are easy problems. So you have to prepare 2 phenyl ethanol from suitable alkene. So you have been given alkene. And from alkene you have to prepare 2 phenyl ethanol. So this ethanol you have CH2, CH2, OH. And on position number 2, you have a phenyl group. So you take an alkene and prepare this compound. Using alkene, so you can use any hydroboration, oxidation, or you can use uh, oxymercuration, demercuration. And then you can, so what should alkene you should take? This means HOH you will add. So if you remove HOH, so you will have PHCH double bond CH2. So this means you have to take this alkene pH CH double bond CH2. Are you getting or not? So pH CH double bond CH2. And then you can add HOH. Now you have to add OH here. You have to add, so you have hydrogen, one hydrogen, two hydrogen. You have to add OH here. You have to add H here. So this means H should go where you have less hydrogen. That is the anti marconic off. So this means you have to do hydroboration oxidation method. To getting or not so BS3 H2O2OH minus. So if you do this reaction, basically you will get this product. Are you getting or not? So hydroboration oxidation will give you this reagent. Hydroboration oxidation is anti Markovnikov, and that's why we will get this desired product. So let us discuss C. So you have to use an alkyl halide. So you have been given an alkyl halide. And question also gives you a hint. Use SN2 reaction to prepare cyclohexyl methanol. So you have to use alkyl halide. And you can use SN2 reaction. And then you have to prepare cyclohexyl ethanol. So this is cyclohexyl ethanol or methanol? Sa methanol. This is cyclohexyl. So you see, so methane plus OH that is methanol. If you put a group cyclohexane, so this compound will be called cyclohexyl methanol. Are you getting or not? If you have CH3OH, this is your methanol. And if you remove one hydrogen, put hexyl group, so this becomes cyclohexyl methanol. So this compound is cyclohexyl methanol. If you want, you can write cyclohexyl methanol.
Now, how can you prepare this compound which is a green order? You have sent two reaction in alkyl halide. So, give me the answer. Let us take five seconds. Okay, so you can take this as alkyl halide. This is a simple one. You can take this as alkyl halide if you treat with NaOH. This is a primary alkyl halide. On primary alkyl halide, always SN2 reactions happens. So you will have SN2 reaction. OH minus will attack here and Cl will go. So OH minus can attack as a nucleophile and Cl will go. And if your solution is, if you have to take water also, so in the next step, this. Uh, if you have OH minus that will act as a base so this OH minus will tax Cl minus can go so finally I will have this compound so the desired product are you getting or not so this is an easy one now let us say D so what this D says uh, you have to prepare addition of ethylene oxide so you have to take ethylene oxide so this compound is called ethylene oxide this plus Grignard reagent you can use some Grignard reagent that is called GR. So using these two Grignard reagent plus ethylene oxide, uh, you have to prepare three cyclohexyl bulb propanol. So let me write three cyclohexyl bulb propanol. So let us say you have to prepare this compound. So three cyclohexyl one two three propanol. So this is propanol. 1, 2, 3, and portion number 3, you have a cyclohexyl group, so this is a 3 cyclohexyl propanol. So, how can you prepare this compound using the Grignard agent? So, you see how many carbon has increased 1, 2, 3 carbon has increased. Uh, here I have 2 carbon, so if I remove these 2 carbon, 1, 2, I have to take this part as a Grignard reagent. Are you getting or not? So, this is coming from Grignard reagent, this side, and this side is coming from ethylene oxide. Are you getting? So this is coming from epoxide, ethylene oxide. So now you know what to do the reagent I should take. So give me the answer. Okay, have you done this one? So let us see uh, what can you do? So you can take this as a Grignard reagent. I think all of you have able to do this one. So you can take this as a Grignard reagent and CH2 MgBr. And if you treat this compound with CH2 ethylene oxide, CH2O, CH2, and you have to do hydrolysis also. So if you do addition of this compound and do hydrolysis will get the desired product because what will happen this minus plus this minus will attack here so this will basically attack here this opens up and then in the next case you can take H plus so finally we'll have this compound CH2 CH2 and then this CH2 and you will have OH are you getting or not so easy one now let us discuss next one. So you have next is E. So what this E part says, this says cis 2 pentene one thiol from suitable alky alkenyl halide. So let us discuss uh, a thiol that is SH. I have to add SH. So you can take, uh, so you have to prepare alkyl halide. So you can take an alkyl halide plus some nucleophile so you have to take some alkyl halide plus nucleophile and then you have to prepare this compound cis so this compound SH so let us say this compound you have to prepare so this means you have to take alkyl halide plus nucleophile you have to prepare this compound so how can you do this one nucleophile you have to take SH minus in this case so if you take this compound cis and chloride here so cis position you have a hydrogen hydrogen both one side so if you take cis and I will treat simply with NaSH Na plus SH minus SH minus will attack here this cell goes so we will get the desired product are you getting or not so simple 
now you have f so f is what so this says we have to prepare two five dimethyl hexane from four carbon alkyl halide so this so we have to prepare two five dimethyl hexane from four carbon alkyl halide so you have a four carbon alkyl halide so you have a four carbon alkyl halide and you have to prepare two five dimethyl hexane so you have position number 1 2 3 4 5 6 2 3 4 5 at 2 and 5 position we have to have a methyl group attached so you see finally you have how many a uh, carbon 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 carbon you have so you have to dimerization kind of reaction 4 2 8 and if you see this is a symmetrical about this so for this side for this side so it seems i have to take alkyl halide something like this c c c c x this is the alkyl halide i take now what is the reaction on alkene that gives me dimerization so either i can use urz reaction urz synthesis if i react with sodium or i can use lithium dialkyl copper both are basically dimerization reaction so if i treat this compound with lithium and cui first it will be formed so let us say c c c and this will be whole twice c u l i this is formed now this will act as a minus this will act as a plus so this is a minus that is like retard reaction now it can react with this again so let us say if this react with this compound again c c c c x are getting so what will happen in this case this will attack here and this goes so i will get the desired product are getting or not so this is a lithium dialkyl copper method so this can attack here and this can go here so if you do this one so what you will have 1 2 3 carbon 4 5 6 carbon 3 4 5 6 <coughs> sorry and this side you have at post number 2 one um carbon attached and one this side attached this final product you will get are you getting or not so first you have to make a carbon ion that you can do with lithium iodide with copper iodide you will be home this is called lithium dialkyl copper so if you form lithium dialkyl copper it can further react with alkyl halide to give alkene so this is a basically method of preparation of alkene so what we do we take an alkyl halide and then we react this alkyl halide with lithium iodide and copper iodide it forms lithium dialkyl copper and this lithium dialkyl copper there is a minus charge on carbon so this can act as a nucleophile so in the next step this attacks on an alkyl halide and finally forms an alkene are getting so simple one so let us copy this one and perhaps this reaction is also called a cori house synthesis this reaction is also called cori house synthesis i don't remember exactly right now so when you when you find cori house synthesis you try to see whether this reaction is called cori house synthesis or not you have to see yourself in any book you see whether this is called cori house synthesis or not i think this is called cori house synthesis but i'm not 100% sure you check it out or otherwise we will sometime discuss in the class the same reaction you can do the same compound you can also form with urz reaction if you take this cx and if you treat with sodium simply in ether as a solvent now in this case you will get the same product in that case you will have a radical and that is dimerizes so you will have the same product again so this product you will get so either you can use urz reaction so that is a dimerization reaction urz reaction is simple it's a dimerization reaction so alkyl halide reacting with sodium it forms a dimerized product so either you can use if you want you can use urz reaction also for this case okay let us finish it here and then we'll go for the next problem i think all of you have copied this one so 
one reagent I can use lithium iodide with copper iodide first forms lithium dialkyl copper this lithium dialkyl copper reacts with alkyl halide forming an alkene uh, carbon chain gets doubled or I can use Urza reaction in which also uh, this is a free radical mechanism in which sodium is used in ether because ether is a uh, not reactive solvent if I use sodium in water that is not possible because sodium can react with what <laughs> sorry so you will have in this case product is again dimerized okay